جی بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ تعالی وبرکاتہ Uh, let me start by also appreciating Nasfat, Abuja, and um, the world over. I think it's worldwide now. MashaAllah. Uh, if I say I appreciate Nasfat, because quite right, I know I've attended Nasfat before when I was in the village. But when I got to Abuja, we are so consumed with activities. And that's why you're not seeing us here. So we are also part of Nasfat, inshallah. And uh, we have also seen what Nasfat has been doing in the society. We have seen the impact. I can categorically tell you that if there is no Nasfat, we will know where the Muslim Ummah will have been today. Because those that Nasfat has captured, you cannot, you cannot see it. But those of us that are outside, we see what you people are doing inside. So I really appreciate you people. Uh, I really, really appreciate you, and uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to bestow his mercy on you all. Aside from that, let me equally salute my mentor. As I said, I said somewhere this morning, I said you don't overshine your mentor or your boss. Yes, I will salute my boss, that is Ustaz Abdul Fatai Adeyemi. You all know him very well. As I'm talking here, it's what he has taught me that I'm saying. If I say anything otherwise, then it's not him that taught me that, please. So just try as much as possible to do what? To filter it and take what Alvatai taught me and say, this one, you are on your own. Yeah? So Alhamdulillah, I don't really want to waste much of our time as well. I want us to learn. I want to orientate, reorientate, and deorientate. That is to say, we have to orientate those people that have not been orientated and orientated before. And those people that have been orientated wrongly, we now do what? We deorientate them. When we now deorientate them, we now do what? We reorientate them. So as we are doing that, even the person that is speaking is equally learning. So if I want it to be interactive, let us make it interactive. And if I want to be the sole um, coordinator, allow me also to be the sole coordinator. Hope is, is allowed. So, mashallah. Let's praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I said we are appreciating Allah. Ayatu bilamalin, ayatu musillatun. Yes. A life without money is what? Eh? It's not worth living. It's not worth living. So if you think there is no money, or you think because there is no need for money, it's because of money that's why we are here today. If we don't have up to that extent, we will not be here. So we have to appreciate Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for giving us that risk. Out of his risk is that he gave us money, he gave us life, he gave us um, well-being. That is why we are all here. Let's go into this topic directly without talking too much. Rabbana Atayna Rabbana min aswajina wa suriyatina kurrata ayuni wa ji'alna limutakina imama If you are married and you don't know this Rabbana go and learn it If you are married and you don't know Rabbana Ablana min aswajina wa suriyatina kurrata ayuni wa ji'alna limutakina imama If you are if you are married and you don't know it go and learn it and if you know it and you are not married just put it at the back of your mind because if you want to enter that place that's what you are supposed to say hmm? that's what you are supposed to say so that you will grow up with good children you understand don't be too fast and just go there like that eh? and forget some men are too they are too rugged they don't have time to do that please let's try as much as possible to do that now the question is courtship 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 they now ask what does islam says about it how did islam say it what did islam say about it the first thing i think we should know what courtship is is that also what is courtship let's make this one a little bit interactive when you hear the word courtship what comes to your mind 
I'm opening the mic now. When you hear the word courtship, what comes to your mind? Hmm? One or two responses, please. Yes? What comes to your mind when you hear courtship? What comes to my mind is uh, the act of uh, keeping a relationship between a man and a woman, perhaps in preparation for marriage. Okay. I, I like that perhaps there. That perhaps. Then let's get one from the sister before we move on. What comes to your mind when you hear the word courtship? Use perhaps getting to get married is that also perhaps with the intention of getting married that is courtship but if that is courtship we now ask a question is that what is happening today is that what is happening today now the word courtship if we go to the origin of where the word come from we know if you are doing if you want to cut it now we have what to call court and we have sheep. Is that also? Where do you get caught from? Is it not in the law court? Is that also? Court. Court. It's the same court, oh. It's the same court. In the days of old, if you want to get married, you go to court and you take permission in court that you want to court with so so and so. You don't get it. You go to court, you take permission in the court that you want to marry so so and so you now give you permission to now court that sheep there is an act those of us that understand English very well that sheep is what is an act that's why they call it court sheep so you go to court you take permission that you want to marry so so and so so you can see that courtship is something that is allowed they give you permission to do it do you get it? They give you permission to do it. But why is the word today problematic? When you ask a question, you see, when they ask courtship, what did Islam say? Then you now go back, say, okay, so this word courtship has problem in its own. That is why they are even asking the question, what did Islam say? So what is the problem that courtship is having? What is the problem that courtship is having? They said, I am a philosopher. And I, I think we will do a little bit of philosophy here today. The word courtship, why is it causing problem? Philosopher, or in philosophy of language, we believe that the problem of this world is the problem of language. If you agree with me, it is the problem of what? Language. And how to present that language. Words. Words. Some philosopher says words doesn't have meaning. Now we are asking for what is the meaning of courtship. Everybody is giving it. Is it the meaning of courtship that we are asking now, or what does courtship really entails? Meaning that courtship doesn't have meaning, but what you give to courtship is what courtship is to you. You don't get it. Okay. There was one time a philosopher. It was called Bacon. Bacon. Bacon said there is what we call intellectual fallacies. He said there are intellectual fallacies in the mind of men. That intellectual fallacies, he categorized it into four idols. He has what we call four idols. Because there are intellectual fallacy. And when I say intellectual fallacy, I mean words now. You understand now? This word, we don't understand them. They are causing problems. You know, I said, okay, but there are four idols that is in the mind of men that is causing this problem in our life. The first idol, they call it the idol of the tribe. The idol of what? Of the tribe. This idol, he said, is a deceptive reasoning in the mind of man. Deceptive. Something that is deceptive to you is not correct. But it's in the mind of man, and this deception now comes together with fact. You now fail to understand which one is fact and which one is deceptive. 
man start holding that idol in his mind till today this example of um, idol of the tribe is uh, let's go back to our culture in Yoruba land there are some things that they will tell you not to do they may say it is they will say it's haram in that way now how many of us are Yorubas? What, what they call taboo what they call taboo that they don't say is forbidden but you know today we have grown up and say it's a lie they are just lying to us Yoruba people will say you don't sit at the door of um, you don't sit at the door the entrance of a house they say it's a war is it true? abomination eh? is it abomination? it's a superstition and that is a what you call that's what we call the intellectual fallacy that is what we call the idol of the tribe it has come today you cannot even differentiate which one is um, superstition and which one is not superstition there are some they say married women should not do if a married woman put um, this pin on her wrapper is that superstition they used to put it on their wrapper like this they put it they say maybe jean want to enter then the pin will when they are pregnant which other tribe do have those position in it's idol of the tribe it is an idol that has overwhelmed our thinking it now affect us we now we don't now see how to interpret things anymore we now interpret them the way we see them we have the idol of the tri of the cave idol of the cave idol of the cave is just saying about one-sided you just look at everything in one angle today they say come and talk about courtship and tell us what islam says meaning that tell us all you think you know about courtship and tell us what islam now say about it it's not one way it's not just what islam say about courtship no tell us what it's courtship idol of the cave is saying that you're already in the cave let me give you an example there was a ditch eh? a ditch now people are inside that dish they now tight their neck you can only see outside just one outside like this you cannot turn your neck like this but you can just see outside once and when you see outside beside that place people are passing there is fire burning people are passing what will you be seeing if you are not seeing that people what will you be seeing hmm? what do you what do you think you'll be seeing Eh? smoke no you will see shadows of people that are passing so since you are in the dish what you know is shadow you don't even know that people, people exist what you know is shadow so all your thinking is shadow nothing that you know again is shadow that is idol of the cave and what he's saying is that a doctor will see medicine in everything that he's saying when you don't talk he says no 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 i don't believe a chemist see chemistry in everything a farmer sees farming in everything so because of your profession you don't want to know any other thing you just want to stick to your profession that is idol of what of the cave and we have idol of the theater idol of the theater is when okay look at those theater men now there's one guy like this he used to act like a rich man and in the real sense he's not rich anytime he, he acts in movies he acts rich man and you don't be thinking that he's a rich person is that also even himself will not start seeing himself as a rich person you understand whereas you have to tell him that that is a an intellectual fallacy you are not rich that's either of the tribe of the theater and the last one is either of uh idol of the marketplace idol of what of the marketplace Ariwaja. if you are in the market and there is stock here 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 will you understand you not even know who is talking everybody is just saying his own Idol of the marketplace is that one that talks about language, that talks about words, that talks about words, that tells us that words 
doesn't have meaning except you give them meaning except you understand the real meaning of that word you cannot know that what that word means let us look at some words that you don't understand and look at their origin and say whether we can understand this word very well what is the meaning of um, let me look at some words we we'll go to the root of those words you will now understand them you know my my principle this 2019 is i want to go to the root words of every word every word i want to go to the root word when i understand one word your know development development what's the meaning of development 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 you know what they call envelope you know envelope you know it's what they cover development is to the envelope you don't get it development the d is the envelope it is when you de envelope yourself from that envelope you're already inside an envelope you know the envelope you come out do you get that what is the meaning of information information in for and shown it means that in something that comes into you from it now forms you it now take you back to the nation <laughs> eh? in it comes in it now forms who you are that is to say anything your act any of your act is based on the information that you have you don't get it i was watching a movie yesterday a man want to get married to a woman he never knew that that woman is a twin and that woman too never knew she was a twin you understand but he went somewhere and he saw the twin sister kissing another person he came home he did not talk to his wife and he was showing different attitude to his wife different attitude to his wife they couldn't progress because of that he has information that information is making him to act is now giving it to the nation he lost that woman but because he has information inside him so inform is to for you to get formed what about imagination what is imagination image nation eh? image then what nation that is imagination the image of your okay let's okay you imagine now imagine you are the, okay you are imagining you are giving an image to the nation are you getting what i'm trying to say we are treating words how to understand those words what about knowledge knowledge divided now we have no abby we have edge if you know you have edge that's what we call knowledge you have edge over other people you know you must have edge professor salam said al ilimu nurun wajalun dhulma knowledge is light so if you have that light you excel you have edge over other people that is knowledge let's take one again which one again or who have any other one who have any other word that you can you can bring the meaning out look at believe eh? expectation oh yeah let's bring it out now you only to do that for you no you will pay if i want to do that for you <laughs> she wants me to bring out its expectation for her see believe believe be and live is that also be and do what and live if you believe that is where you will live on earth it is what you believe that you live with inside believe we have b and we have lie again do you know that b e l i e b lie is that also you know that b lie b lie they say okay if you want to grow first of all lie to yourself then you will be you don't get it lie to yourself then you do what then you will be now you can see that idol of the marketplace that tells us that language has beclouded us 
when we now see that language, we are unable to understand what they mean. We now take them from our own meaning. Then we start misbehaving. Now, this is courtship. This is courtship. If we look at courtship, we now say, what does that courtship mean? Let us not look at the definition of courtship. Let us look at what does courtship entails. What does it entails in the Western world now? That is in the general world. What does it mean? Somebody was telling me that this topic is very delicate to know how to treat it. Oh. Before we get to this stage, we have been hearing courtship. Some people say there is no courtship in Islam. Oh. No, 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 there is no. Some people say no, there is courtship in Islam. Ah, this courtship problem is causing problem now. So we need to know the word courtship. We now know, need to know the activities of courtship. If courtship is a period, as she told us, and if courtship is something that you relate with one another till you get married, there are different ways of courtship. Let's go to the animal kingdom. The animal kingdom also do what? They also court. And that is why we are not supposed to be like animals. You understand? We are not supposed to do what? Be like animals. But let's look at how animal court. There are different ways of cutting in animals. I have like four, but I think we can take two today. So that I don't give you all. Next time when you call me, I also have something to say. Is that not so? <laughs> so that I don't just say everything. And when I come next time, I say, what is only already now? He has told us before. Hmm? Every wise man will keep some things again to his side. Uh -huh. So let me tell you two. Animals. We have what we call peering in animals. Peering. That is the way of courtship in animals. They peer. If you see some animals, they are much like this, and you see two of them have peer, they peer themselves. What kind of what example of animals can we does that? Eh? Pigeon. Pigeon does that. Termites. That's a good example. Termite. Huh. Please read the kingdom of termite. The kingdom of termite. You know how termite does there? When I like that termite. Wing termite. Wing termite. You know what they do? They will just fly, the male and the female, they will fly to a place. They will build, they mount their building. When they mount their building, then the male will now fertilize the female. She lay eggs. When she lay eggs, the leg gets fertilized, and then what happens? Other time it comes up. You do not have the king. The man now become the king. The woman now become the queen. Please read it, the kingdom of termite. This one, the queen. They now start going. In fact, if you see where the house of the king is, who has read that before? If you see where the house of the king is, in fact, well decorated, it's like the palace of king here in this world of termites. So when they now grow up and they have wings, two of them again will now flee to another place to go and form another colony. You can see how they do their own. But you know one thing that is different from that animal? Immediately they caught. They don't have permission from any parent or from anything before they start do what? They start entering their self before they start giving birth. If they call somebody an animal, it's, it's, it's really a cause. If they call you an animal, that you do like animal. You know fish too, they do peering. Fish in the river, they do peering. Those of us that study biology very well. Even in the river like this, they can take themselves out to another place. And they just immediately they realize that the two of them have done this. Then they go. Man to do pairing now. Abi, pairing is not, is not our marriage. That is our own marriage. Then the, so, the second form of animal uh, cutting is what I call display. Display. Who are those animals that display? Have you seen where a cock is trying to <laughs> a cock is trying to display to an hen because he wants to have something with her. Have you seen that play? What does it do? What how does it display? It spread his wing. Eh? He do some dancing. He do some dancing. Eh? You see that display? All those display are cutting on. Their own is immediately after cutting, they do mating. Immediately. That is why we are not animals. Have you seen Agama lizard? How do Agama lizard do their display? Not, ah, sister, you know them very well. No? 
You see, that's why you do like this. When the female agamalis that understand that this one is trying to do something, she will just raise her own uh, back. She raises it up like this. Then raise her tail. Then that time was also display, display, display. Don't bring his own tail under her tail. Then he mate. You see display. There are different animals like this. This um, he cock. There is he cock that has different feathers. Colorful ones. Peacock. Is it peacock? If you see them. In fact, sometimes you will not know that the color inside is more beautiful than the color outside. When they want to now do that display, when they open it for a female, they say, hey, the woman say, wow, look at this. I will love this. Hmm? And you know those animals that push themselves, hen too, they do that. They can roll, roll, roll. No, I don't want, I don't want. See? You know, they roll, roll, roll. Till... So maybe they are shy, I don't know. They just be shy and go and hide one place and now go down for him. So yeah, do it here. Don't do it where you want to do it the other time. Now let's go to display of human beings. How do human beings display? How do you display? Hey, display. Have you been watching Indian film before? <laughs> eh? I've watched Indian film before. They like this display of dancing. They will come, they will display to her, display. I don't know that song though. Eh? You know Indian song here now. They will display with singing. Is that also? Display with singing. Now, let's bring this display down. Let's bring this display down to man. We can display with our intellect. Intellect, you display with it. When a woman got to this age of maturity, her display starts. When a man got to the age of maturity, his display starts. Hey. I will tell you a story about this display. We are in a class like this, as it's like this. Then a lady was coming and she came late to the class. And when she was coming, the uh, shoes she was putting on, it just sounded cack, 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 cack. Then the lecturer now paused until she went to her seat. Now said, hmm, we men. Say what? Say all this one that you are doing is because of men. No? And she said, no, it's not because of men. No. Say, ah, it's because of men that you are doing all this one. You understand? She said, no, it's not. Okay, the lecturer said, okay, let's even do experiment and see whether it's because of men or not. You know what? He said, it's, it's a master's class. You know, ask how many of you are married? We raise our hand. How many of the women are married? They raise their hand. The number of men that are married are lesser than the number of men that are married. Let's say, for instance, 20 men are married, 20 females are married. And we have like over 100 women that are not married. He said, let's take this place as the world. If 20 men marry these 20 females, you understand? Married men married these 20, we now have 100 unmarried. He said, these unmarried ones, they will not allow you to enjoy your marriage. You understand? They will be coming without their legs. They will be displaying for you. They will be displaying. So when you display what you have, have you seen a young lady? A young lady, how does she display? If you see a young lady that is growing up, if we have parents here, watch it out. A young girl of 14, 15, if she starts want to start displaying, what she starts doing is that she starts becoming neater. Her slippers, she will wash it. It's only slippers that she has, but bathroom slippers, so she will wash it, dry it, before she go take her bath. When she now comes, she wears that her singlet. You just, ah, this small girl, she's looking like neat, 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 neat. It's a display. Eh? It's a display. So, you can see that cutting and displaying. So, men, when they say men have sweet mouth, what other type of display of sweet mouth? Hmm? It is, you know, when you, when you take a phone, maybe because of my job anyway, if a man holds a phone and he's talking, I can say he's talking to a woman. Ah, oh, he's talking to a man. It, there are ways you talk now. Eh? There's even between, hello? Hello? <laughs> is that not display? You don't start giving phone, you start putting phone, eh? put big grammar that that girl will say, oh, 
oh this man i like him what ah, no can't we hear him he's so this he's so that that is display is that not display that is display those display are they allowed in islam are they allowed eh? you don't know you don't want to give fatwa in islam have you okay i will not tell you whether they are allowed or not but is it not good to display eh? let us know the substance that you are made up of is that not so let us know the substance that you are made up of if a man is not neat is he a bad signal or a good signal eh? you are not neat anytime you come to this asalatu with this your white every you just say that some people will not wash that their white cloth before they come to asalatu the next day and when they come you see how dirty it is at the neck and the sister will not look at it it's sunday lot of sunday eh? that is a display and it's a wrong signal you are giving them and you now come to us and say salam alaikum sir uh, uh, sisters are not just coming i say even if i be sister i'm not going to marry you <laughs> <laughs> eh? that is it i will tell you the fact because your display is a wrong signal your display is a wrong signal so you should know the type of display that you want to give people like it when women are intelligent ah men there are no men that like intelligent women and you don't want to display that you are intelligent i mean display eh? display so that better men will come if you don't display those people that are not up to you will think that they are up to you and they will not come then when they now talk to you and say ah this one ah, why will you it's a shame if a man that is below your standard come and meet you it's because he did not show your standard you don't get it it's a shame a man that is not up to your standard is now coming to woo you it means that you have reduced your standard so why not display there are still some display that men all men will be afraid of coming to meet a woman hey if a woman display men will be afraid to meet her when you now see fine girl has gotten to the age of marriage she's not married yet and she said still now i said are you sure your display are too much to reduce it <laughs> as as long as men like intelligent women eh, they don't want the a woman to be more intelligent than them they will run men are so lazy if they see a woman that is more intelligent to them ah, if they did not run they'll be using younger agidi you know that type of thing yeah their ego their ego will now start coming out but this woman will pass you now what are you doing she passed you go and upgrade yourself go and upgrade so that is display now we now want to look at the type of display that is good the type of display that is bad or how do you even display if you want to display how do you display we now look at this word courtship come with a word that thing that is spoiling that courtship that thing that is making this courtship very difficult for people to say courtship in Islam is in Islam or is not in Islam. What is making it so difficult? It's one word. And that word, you see, at the beginning I told you, I said words or language are the problem that we are having in this world. Wallahi. There's one word that when you hear courtship, that word always comes with that courtship. You know that is what we call pairing of words too. Oh yeah, let's pair words together before we go now. Pair, 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 pair words. Pair words. If you see up, you will see the word down. Abi, I'm helping you now. If you see white, you will see black. Is that also? Oh yeah, give me some words again. Eh? Hate. 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 You see like. No. Love. No. Eh? Which one is opposite of uh, like? It's like now. It's dislike. Eh? Uh -huh. Hate is love. Ah, okay. See English, oh. Yeah. Heaven, earth, yeah. yeah. bad, good, yeah. eh? Yeah. Male, female, yeah. blue. White. <laughs> it's black, white. Eh? Not that color. Okay, not that. <laughs> Okay, okay. Now you can see those words that are coming. Okay, which word now come 
to um, courtship that is causing problem for courtship? Dating. Dating. Mashallah. Dating. Dating. Courtship comes with dating. And you know that dating did not come when courtship was there. But courtship, dating now come and enter into courtship. And now spoil courtship. La ilaha illallah. Dating, dating is not good. Ah, dating, ah, dating. That word, is it a person? No, 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 dating, dating, dating. You see, courtship is on its own when dating comes. And when dating comes, dating now try to be cloud cutting for you and give cutting a different form, a different way. You now start looking at it as if they are the same thing. It is dating that will tell you that you should not come to see your fiance or the person that you are courting. Don't come to see her with anybody. Just come alone. When you call, when you call a lady, oh, you come and visit me. Hello, hey, okay. Later, she where are you? Okay, we are coming. We are coming. How many of you? Eh? What is it? How many of you? <laughs> it's me and my friend now. Oh, oh, <laughs> not my friend. I beg, always go with you and your friend, please. Hmm? Always go with you and your friend or you and your sister. If you must go. Men don't want it. And that is what dating is causing. That is dating. Okay, let's go and watch movie. Let's go and watch this. You can just take it for granted that no, ah, no man, is it not just to watch movie? No, I'm not going to his house. So we are going to one eatery to go and sit down. You go there today, you sit down. You go there tomorrow, you sit down. Next tomorrow, dating is entering. And before you know it, you get hooked into it. Then cutting now or courtship now become what is haram. You don't get it. It is dating that enters into courtship. So courtship system is just on its own. Then dating system just allow him to enter. And do you know why dating enter like that? One is this. In, the, in courtship, you know I told you that courtship before you have to go and take permission. Then men now grew to an extent that must I take permission? Must I take permission? No, I don't need to take permission. Let me just go and meet her on my own. The way you go meet her on your own, there is no permission, there is nobody you are afraid of, then dating will come in. Do you get it? Then dating will come in. So, this word, if we are able to differentiate between dating and courtship, then we will now know whether courtship is halal or haram, or dating is allowed or haram. But we all know that dating is around. Or else, the way... See, I, I used to say something again. Is that word itself that is around or the act that is around? You can see the problem of words now. We can say, okay, we are going for a dating. Hello, let's go for a dating. Can you come with your sisters and brothers? Let's go date. Is there anything wrong in that? If I take that and we are still calling it dating, is it wrong? It's not wrong, but it's just because the meaning of dating, because of that idol of the marketplace. Are you getting what I'm trying to say? Because of that idol of the marketplace. Now, let's go to Islam, or what does Islam say? And now talk about the problem. Or we should talk about the problem before we go to how what Islam says. Which one? What Islam says. What Islam says. Hmm. That what Islam says, eh? Is the real thing. You all know it's the real thing, have you? Now, if we say there is no dating in Islam, or there is no courtship in Islam, you can see this word courtship dating. It can go interwoven. You understand now? But let us be using courtship, inshallah. Courtship, if we say there is no courtship in Islam, then how do you marry? How do you meet who you want to marry? How do you meet the person you want to marry? It is the process. It is the period that we are having problem with. Happiness is the best. Hairukuluhu is the best of all kindness, of all act is the best. Is it or al hayahu min al iman is part of iman. That's where you see a man. You want to go and take. Uh, you want to go to his uh, in-laws house. 
to go and ask for her in marriage. Men cannot. When they say, Assalamu alaikum, uh, do you like her? <laughs> you will be shy. But to these men are so bold. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> eh? They are so bold. In fact, sometimes they will be the one to talk. Yes, sir. Yes, I, I want to. Yes, the doctor. He's not even afraid. Eh? In the days of old, it is somebody who will talk on your behalf. You be, okay, you let him talk. <laughs> Sorry, sir. <laughs> they will see that, yes, this one is shy. But shyness has gone. Modesty, modesty has gone. That is what is bringing dating. See, there are some display. When we talk about display, there are some display that you will display that will turn courtship into dating. I, 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 saw, I saw a sister. Eh? If a sister dress eh, and part of her breast is showing out and she's talking to you directly and she knew intentionally she wants to show you <laughs> if, if intentionally she wants to show you she's calling for dating you get what I'm saying now? That is the display. She's calling for dating. I don't know when, when things change their meaning anyway. But I used to like them, but the way things are changing, I don't want to like it anymore. This um, anklet, this chain that the women put on their legs, I used to like that, you know. But because everybody has started using it, we now think that anybody that uses it is a, is a prostitute. Do you know that? It has changed. To be anybody that uses it is a prostitute. Then when you now see a girl now displaying with it, if she's displaying with it, she's calling for dating. She's calling for dating. So modesty has gone. No shyness any, anymore. So if those things are there, before you know it, you get married with, with immediate effect. Or you want to say, ah, what will my friend say? So what will my friend say? What will people say? That, ah, a whole me. This is the type of wedding that I did. You are shy of them and you are killing your own life. The next one, he said, I shall come to remove patience from the poor. Patience from the poor. You know, poor people don't have patience anymore. They want to be rich at all means. That's why they do all kind of juju they want to do because they want to be rich. No patience again. The next one, he said, I shall come to remove piety and he said piety from the scholars even the scholars to have their own the scholar that will say something in order to benefit you oh you scholar you are doing this thing no say no 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 that's not it hey let me give you a story about a learning people if you are a learning it makes me to laugh when you meet a scholar a scholar is dating mashallah or ustaz ustaz yes a scholar is dating eh? Is, is, is having extramarital affair outside his marriage. Hear you? He's now marrying, he's now doing that with a married woman. They now said, Ustas. They, they said, Ustas, I tell you that. I'll, I'll translate, or someone will translate for me. Say, I tell you that. Say, what? Say, that woman is married now. Say, who told you that she's married? Ah. She's married because she's a Christian. What is it? <laughs> so because konigi you can enter her mean that she did not do this correct marriage following that of islamic marriage so she's not a married person in his own sight that is color he can change it for you she doesn't have they didn't, they didn't pay her as a daki now so she's not legally married so i can go La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. Hmm? He said again that I shall come and remove generosity from the wealthy ones. The rich men will not want to be generous to you. They don't want to be generous. I talked about this thing somewhere. I talked why the rich men are not even giving the real as in they are not they are not generous to the poor men. Do you know why? Even the poor one doesn't know how to think. You don't get this. Poor men, eh? 
They don't know how to do what? They don't know how to think. Do you have much time? Okay, before I finish, the, this rich man and poor man, I want to say something. Look, look at this story. Look at this story. A boss wanted to travel. He has three people that he has trained very well in business. He gave the first one 15,000. He gave the second one 10,000. He gave the third one 5,000. And he's traveling. He said, I'm going to travel for the next 10 years. I'm coming back. When he came back after 10 years, the one that he gave 15,000, that one has multiplied that money three times. He now have how much? 35, is it 35 or 45? 45,000. When he came back, he said, ah, boss, uh, the 15,000 you gave me, mashallah, I did business with it, I did this, I did, I invest, I did this. This is what I got, 45,000. You, 10,000. He said, yes, mashallah, I did business with it, and this is what I got, 20,000. He multiplied it by two. The one that he gave 5,000. When, when the boss left, he said, ah, this boss that gave me 5,000. Hmm. I'm afraid, though. He just went to go and dig a hole and put the 5,000 inside and cover it. When the boss came back, he went to remove his 5,000. He said, this is the 5,000 because I'm afraid, though. I don't know what I will do to it. He gave him back. You know what he did? He said, you that multiply your own times two, bring it. Give it to this one that multiplied by times three. Do you get what I'm saying? You that multiply your own to 20,000. Your 20,000, give it to the first one that have 45,000. You that have 5,000, give it to that one that have 45,000. Why did you say that you give it to that one that have 45,000? Why not you that have 5,000, okay, let's make him up. Or you that have 10,000, 10,000, let's make you up too. Why do you take money from the poor and still give it to the rich? Because the rich can think. This one that can multiply it times three is more wiser. Give him, give him, give him. You know, said the one, the poor, collect this one from him, collect it. He doesn't know how to use money. Please. A poor person come to you and say, please, can you borrow me 30,000? You first look at, will you pay 30,000 back? Where will you see it to pay? Rich men, as you see them like this, they have a lot of debt in their head. You don't know? Because they can go here and say, borrow me, and they will borrow them. They will go to bank, borrow me, they will borrow them. They know quite well that they have that multiplying speed, they can multiply it. That's why they are borrowing them. But you are poor. You cannot think as well. When they give you that money, you squander it. And you expect it. So sometimes when rich people are doing rich, 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 they know what they are saying. You know? And if a rich man eh, doesn't want to give a poor man his daughter, you know what he's doing sometimes. So if you are poor, don't be poor upstairs. Rich men can see you and say, this one can do something. Yes, he can do something. Even if he doesn't have, he don't have now. They will give you their daughters. I was tested. I didn't marry a rich woman anyway, but I was tested. You want me to tell you how I was tested? Hmm? Yes. Hey. You know, what my father-in-law did was that I became the person that takes his dry cleaner, his clothes with dry cleaner. You understand? I just go, ah, I'm just like, please, yeah, I, I, I did that for several months. Taking his cloth to drink, you know. If I take it, this is the amount, I get the amount, I pay. Sometimes I pay the money before he give me the money. It's not, it starts looking at it as if this guy can handle my daughter. Some parents can do that for you. They can even give you money to say, do business. They want to see whether you can even excel in business. You are not married their daughter yet. Then you now come back and say, Nigbati, Nigbati, Nigbati. You want to say, okay, okay, no problem. Tomorrow, your marriage will crash. You don't know that that is the cause. So if, even if you are poor, have ideas, have strategies in your head, so that one day, when opportunity comes, like this, you, you'll be able to undo it. In radio, they used to ask question now, if you see 15 million today, what will you do to it? Some people will not know what to do to it. They will just sleep and they will be thinking. They don't have ideas in their head. Some people don't have it. Whereas some people have 1,001 ideas, they are just expecting money to come. 
Then if I ask you today, what do you think you want to do? You don't know. That's why you call a friend. Hello, where are you? I'm in your area. Are you sure? Oh, yeah, come, come. I have one party that I want to go. You now come, you meet him, and you just go to the party. Something I did not tell it before, before. Because you don't have anything doing now. You don't have anything thinking about. May Allah make it easy for us. He also said, when I come, he said, I will remove the Quran. He said, he's going to take away the Quran. And lastly, when I see this brother coming, I know something is happening. And lastly, he said, I'm coming to do what? To take away faith from the surface of the heart. So, in short, you have seen what Islam says and how Islam says you should do cutting. Islam does not encourage long courtship. Islam does not does what? Encourage long courtship. So the question is, does Islam accept courtship? If you say no, how do you do the process? Then if you say yes, how long is the process? The process is not a long process. It's a very, very short process. No long courtship in Islam. And no dating in Islam. There is courtship. But the courtship is short. It is when the courtship starts becoming longer and longer, then dating will now insert itself into it. May Allah make it easy for us. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.